week two. Let's go. Um, this is a charcoal drawing I did a really a long time ago that I'm going to use as a reference. But I was thinking about doing her, but um, out of palms. Like, so I have this idea. So let's try it out. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to use acrylics. Hue, violet, um, red. There's a dog barking. Um, a brilliant yellow green and primary blue. So I got quick, quick uh, set up. Some weeks I'm in a rush, so just want to express myself in a, in a little way. It's important to do that every week. That's our mission this year. So I'm just going to quickly look for shapes. Hers, her knee is right there. I can see the knee and her hips, her butt. Then I got the, it helps if I look for points just to If you always, and if you mess up, but you can always reshape, which is the beauty of this, right? There's like a cloth right here. I'm not mixing yet because I'm just doing an outline really fast to start. So. This is where the arm is. This is where the hand is. This is the other hand. We've got the shoulder that kind of swoops in like that. Her bum and thigh. She kind of has both knees tucked in. So I was thinking of doing the inside like the shape of palms. So I'll see what I can. So basically she's like a palm of the body is, we'll see if this makes sense. I was gardening this weekend, so I've been manicuring my palms and it's just a part of, sometimes there's no words, it's just a part of my healing process. Um, I didn't really have a great week. It's a tough week, but we, the strong shall survive. So I'm making her out of plants, which is kind of fun concept. So this one can be reversed palm. I have these palms on my wall. I'll show you in a second. That's kind of like what I, I'm making a darker, I'm mixing the blue and the darkest green to make the color. That's kind of cute. Like her hair is the bomb, that's funny. <laughs> so, it's funny. 
And then you've got the line of the palm. We'll probably go back with a smaller brush to do the detail. There's like some vines, like the purple's kind of like veins, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make up more of a richer purple, mixing the blue that I have in the red. It's making a deeper purple than the purple I have for Okay, so let's put this down because we kind of lost the shape. What we could do, again, maybe this week, is try to print it again. It's a, it's a quicker way to re-see, create a new print. It tells me see, but it's gonna be backwards. Okay. Because I don't really, So now she's the other way. Let's kind of find like splotches. So I want to create like a plant woman, like I said, like I wanted the figure, but I also wanted her to be made with, with life, kind of plants and life. I'm still fixated on. So I'm gonna go away from the figure and just bring out some of these plants. It's a new, new year renewal. Plants are very, they are the essence of the earth. I'm trying to make a dark, darker leaf for the butt. So that's the butt. These were the toes. This was the head, the arms were here. dark spots on the plant. Here's the um, arm, for, forearm, and then the, sh the shoulder is up here. I'm 
totally winging this. I just wanted to try an idea. Who knows if it's gonna be successful, but that's why. Let's get, this color is too muddy, it's too dark. Let me bring this here. We need some like big marks. So I'm gonna take that light green and like make big. Big marks. back the lightest green. I'm doing this straight out of the tube. I'm gonna wipe my brush so I don't get the muddiness. It's already getting dark. I'm gonna take the 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 stem of the plant is this light color. nice. I have this nice color that will stand out to help with the, the lime green and the blue making this pretty. I'm going to have the leaves on the shoulder. I like the round of the face. Her hand is going to be like a little leaf. That's cool. It helps with the flower. That's kind of fun. I added a flower instead of making it just plant, like greenery. It ha I changed it up a little bit.
Yeah, that's nice. The head is not right, so I'm just gonna take, clean it off. And then do this dark leaf. So I have a leaf sitting on her head. We've got this, these shrubs right here. I've got a flower kind of sitting here at the kneecap. We've got the outline of the butt right here. I feel like it's, it's getting somewhere. We might have to do this. Here's the, sh the shoulder blades. The other foot was like right here because the knee, the knee goes up. So we're gonna do a dark, look. And then bring out the knee. It's like the extension of the flower. And then create a dark green of the, of the bum. Huh. What do you think? Can you see our, our plant woman? Sometimes it's uh, minimalistic is better, less marks. I might just change this again. Just try to, because we do these, you know, quick just for fun. Oh, cool. So it's like a cabbage patch. <laughs> the texture. Look at that. That's cool. Like a cabbage. Because of the texture of the the re the printing again. You see it? See it? That's pretty neat. And she's back to the position that she was and look, it kind of looks like an abstract face. I'm kind of into that. I think I'm gonna leave that as it is. That is interesting. It's like an interesting surprise. I love the texture. This is a like a a thicker paper. Look at that. I think I think I like it like that. The other ones weren't there, but this is a fun surprise. That's a wrap on week two. As you can see, I have these in my um, my studio. They're inspiring, so I wanted to make that lady, as you can see right here, um, out of these palms. So it was fun, a lot of a good surprise, and I was having a hard time getting into the studio. But this is important to do every week for myself to um, mark, make, and draw and search. Um, so I find new and creative inspiration within my practice. I hope you join me and uh, you can see the benefit too. Um, if not, it's just for fun. So I will see you next time.